Let me get a chance. Let's see if we can get stamped by okay. Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge, pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I call the special meeting to order. Brad, you got your packet, then. Not quite yet. Oh, okay. uh, I'll I make the motion we adopt the agenda. Uh, I'll second that. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. The only thing on the agenda today is for me to read the canvas. So I'm just going to start um, reading the numbers and let me know if you need me to stop. Okay. We have a copy that we can call along with. Um, you're signing it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just go along and start from Let, the top. We'll start from the top with president and vice president. We have Donald Trump with votes of 3,584 and Harris with 1,480. Okay. And United States Representative District 1, Miller Meeks at 3,182. And Bohanan at 1798. Okay. Senate District, um, Senator District 48, Lochran, 3571, and Debeat, 1357. Okay. District 95, Taylor Collins, 3449, Holtler at 1342. That's good. Supreme Court Justice uh, David May, yes at 2647, no at 1277. Yes. Uh, Mary Elizabeth, uh, Court of Appeals Judge, 2550 and no 1264. Okay. Court of Appeals Judge uh, Samuel Langholz, 2370, yes. 1363, no. Court of Appeals Judge Mary Ellen Tabor, uh, yes, 2515, no, 1220. Court of Appeals Judge Tyler Bueller, um, yes, 2429, no, 1250. District 8B Judge John Wright, Yes, 2544, no, 1169. Okay. District A, B, or 8B, Judge Clinton. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, 2401, yes, no, 1247. Okay. District 8B, Judge Joshua Schreier, yes, 2423, no, 1234. Okay. District A.B. Judge Shane Wiley, yes, 2493, no, 1166. District A.B. Associate Judge Jennifer Bailey, uh, yes, 2622, no, 1068. District A.B. Associate Judge Tyron Rogers, yes, 2410, no, 1227. District AB Associate Judge Jonathan Denza, uh, yes, yes. Um, it's 2403, no, 1228. Correct. Constitutional Amendment 1 had 3,773 votes yes and 1,007 no. Constitutional Amendment 2, we had 4,028 votes yes, 713 votes no. For County Board of Supervisors, we have Harden with 2,125, Scott Hunt with 2,386, for the win. Correct. County Auditor, Snedward, 4,305 votes. For County Sheriff, Brandon McCourt is 4,380 votes. <clears throat> Columbus City Township Trustee, 
We had Kent Brown with four votes and Eric Hofmeyer with three votes for the win. Columbus City Township trustee to fill a vacancy is Ben Buchenhorst with one vote. That was drawn out of a hat yesterday. Yes. Concord Township trustee, we have Robert Utter with 139 votes and Anna Houston with six votes. Correct. Elliott Township trustee, Doug Boyer with 66 and Jonathan Lance with 67. Right. Elm Grove Township trustee, Harold C. Reese with 87 votes and Carl Kruger with 76. Right. Elm Grove Township clerk to fill a vacancy, Dallas Davis with 91 votes. Right. Grandview Township trustee, Richard Wilson with 230 and Connor McKinney with 144 votes. Right. Jefferson Township trustee, we had Richard D. Yotter with 100 votes and Austin Hayes with 99 for the win. Jefferson Township clerk to fill a vacancy, Helena Durst with 135 votes. Marshall Township trustee, Glenn Ball, 106 <laughs> votes, Doug Harris with five votes. Marshall Township trustee to fill a vacancy, Dwayne Boysen with 88 votes. Okay. Morning Sun Township trustee, um, Kim Hewitt with 181 votes okay. and Mark Strahlmacher with 197 votes. Oakland Township trustee, David McCall with 125 and Jacob with 111. Yep. Port Loiza Township Trustee, Jerry Bailey with 199, Brian Fletcher with 217. Union Township <laughs> Trustee, Alan Edmondson with 114, Lester Bosch, 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 um, with 112. Wapalo Township Trustee, Reed Dell with 275, and Mason Matthews with four. Soil and Water Conservation District Commissioner, we had Jonathan Ball with 3,198, Scott Heater with 2,957, Drew Yotter with 3,094. Correct. And County Agricultural Extension Council, Paul Dieselman with 3,163. Julia Diekman, 2,635. Mike Press, 2,908. Tara Howell, 2,775. We have Highland School Public Major BF. We had one yes vote and two no votes. Louisa Count or Louisa Muscatine School Public Major QD. We had 544 yes votes, 451 no votes. Correct. That is it. From back on the one is it uh, the township. Which it, it, um, I got a Columbus. No, it's uh, out here. Port Lo not Port Louisa, but um, it has Richie Otter winning it. There was two people winning it. Yeah, well, was that or was that a misprint? Could have been Drew Yotter instead of Rich. On his paperwork, he put Richard. Richard Drew. Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, yep. all right. That that started playing. Yeah, because um, Selena questioned me on that too, and he I had to go with what paperwork he filed with okay. the county, and I had and he had put Richard on there. Okay, that's probably his legal. Yeah, yeah I never knew his name was Richard. <laughs> yeah. But you know, because his dad lives in one county, hmm. so the nope. uh, the Richard we all know. Yeah, the ordinary is the one. <laughs> And then I have the certificates here to sign, and I have 
two canvas summaries that are just one sheet each um, to sign when you get those packets done. <laughs> So we don't get everything. Like homework teacher, <laughs> I miss crack the whip. Yeah. She had my ruler out to me. Yeah. Black hand. Who is that, Susan? Yep. Say that a little more, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Sometimes it's got to be over. Okay, we're going to step closer to December 1st. Oh, are you that long? It's okay. Well, I just came across it. She got to read another the list of my sign on that. I'm not going to say I didn't miss one in there. No good. So far, you're good here. Sometimes they kind of stick together. No, our, our hands are very to cold weather. No, yeah. it's It will take another week for you to get the election to go away, right? Exactly. I, I, if you see my desk in the election room, it's going on. And my coworkers in Scott County say things are, quote, tense over it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a lot. I'm glad I got sent to the West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Much nicer. Yeah. And we're, we're calm. Yeah. Very <laughs> relaxed. Yeah. Except you missed it yesterday. You had to draw a name out of a hat. Oh, I heard you guys mention something about yeah. that. Was that a ten smell break? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. They had what one vote. One vote. Yeah. There what was, was like it for? a township. There were oh, right. 17 write-ins, all for different names. Oh, so, is that how the tie's broken? Mm -hmm. oh. Draw out of a hat. <laughs> We've had to do that for school board. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> When you called him, you should have told him to go buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got plenty of money. Well, I haven't found a phone number for him yet. So. Oh. Susan, there are only two of these papers? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just sign in to everything in three. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this one's only a two. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Everybody together. It's a participation. Oh. True point. Yeah, hopefully those girls get to come back from Cuba, Joe and all them. Well, one place I wouldn't win. I, yeah, so, me neither. Well, heck, is it Haiti that yeah. they have to shoot at the jets there? Yeah. yeah. Not shooting. Sure. Yeah, I had a, a fly that turns out. The packets before you guys leave today. Thanks, sir. Thank you. What made it so tense over in Scott County? Oh, it was, uh, it's all congressional race stuff. It was just neck and neck out there. Um, so. Three counts. I, I don't know. So are you with paper or a party or? Uh, I'm an employee for the Bohannon campaign. So I worked for her okay. for this last cycle. Okay. <clears throat> so you're moving in from one. You live around here? You look familiar. Was you at a, another one, a couple of these? You no, this is my first time doing this. I'm from Johnson County. I've lived and born and raised in Iowa City. So, for us. Uh, your name looks familiar. I'm sure. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know. You did a sheriff's sure. report earlier. Oh, yeah. oh see, yeah, yeah. You were the first officer. I'm not seeing you. The third one back. Yeah. <laughs> but I worked for it in 2022 also, but I wasn't as involved as I am now. So. Yeah, we ran a mass cross somewhere. I can't Maybe remember. Maybe it is. Sure. I I went to a couple meetings. Um, Chariots, not Elliot, but uh, Ellis. They look uh, for uh, good friends that ran up there in the city. So I went up around a couple of those things. And, yeah. 
got a meeting in Moline tonight, so I can just yeah. hear what the other supervisors are. Yeah. <laughs> so, the workforce? Or? That's that levy. Oh, what do we do? Yeah. I suppose have an Iowa workforce meeting tonight at 4 o'clock, same time. It's going to depend hard. Uh, and that one's on the committee I'm on, so I hate you. Oh, exactly the same thing. Boy, Wish that one in Moline you could do by Zoom in person. Mm -hmm. People are wondering how widespread that is. Mm -hmm. They don't do it some. Well, when we first started our workforce, we had had we had meetings correct Clinton, um, Dan Coral, and and uh, COVID just want to switch that. But mm -hmm. well, there's one supervisor in the one county I've never met. <laughs> He's always zooming in. Shane. <laughs> I may have once had a levy McCampbell. Yeah. Forever. Forever. Uh, he's, he's an okay guy. I worked okay. with him down at the last company yeah. for years. Well, he used to be. Did you? Yeah. yeah. He worked yeah. at his sister worked here. Sister in law, Stacy. Well, he would get along together. He's a good guy. He is. He's, he's a good. little. He's good. Full of bullshit, but. Mm -hmm. He's, he's a good guy. He's been part man. He's parts man at international. Oh, really? <laughs> no, he's a he's an ordained minister too. Yeah, I'm on two boards with him. He's pretty good. Never know what he's going to say. <laughs> no, that's yeah. why it makes him so fun. Yeah. Did. I presume him and oh, the other one running one in Des Moines County. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard all the election results. Me neither. But uh, Sorson just called me the other day, and everybody that uh, was like, come up, weren't up there the way I understood on supervisor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scott won. Yeah. Yeah. And they was worried that Scott uh, might lose it. Yeah. You know Scott very well. I do. I do too. I like him. I just when we with flood issues, I dealt with him up some was it nineteen or yeah. and then the levy deal, but he's going on. I know. Did everybody in Des Moines County the gym win? Yeah, that's what I was wondering if Jim won because my well, gosh, Jim's eighty one. Yes, and he still rides bus. I know. But why do you want to run for office again at 81? <laughs> oh. you, know, you can ask Chuck Grassley. He's been, yeah. yeah. Been at it a while. You know, and, and Jim's a uh, pretty much buried in the point down. Mm hmm. Heel. Yeah. No. What's his last name? Um, Terry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he used to run the bar in Minneapolis. Yeah. So he's got a good group of constituents. He's he's got a lot of friends. He knows he knows everybody. Yes, tells me stories about the hospitals and oh, I bet curves. Oh my goodness! Speaking of reverence, how you doing? <laughs> Do it well. Good. Is there a meeting today? Department head. Last to know, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Are? You're the uh, department head elect. Yeah, there you go. What's good news, Paul? Not sure I have any. <laughs> Wish people come to work and do their job and have a little fun and go home. Mm. Smile more than anybody does it. Instead of fighting bicker and hate and discontent. Huh? Yep. That would be great. But that keeps your bills paid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they would do that, it would be unemployable. Yeah. None of us would have gray hair if that was the <laughs> term, so yeah.
Mine's almost white. I can't say gray anymore. <laughs> white part. I'm most like Jim. <laughs> hey, my hair had some color to it 16 years ago. <laughs> mine did three or four years. It's about all gone. Mine does about every six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it needs it or not. <laughs> Look what you saved in here, guys. My wife does it one. Oh, does she? <laughs> Puts the clippers on. <laughs> That's what I have in this time. No style to it. Just keep no. it short. Keep it short. When my hair gets long, I start looking like Don King out there in the wind. <laughs> white hair is straight up. This one you thought the safety. Oh, I knew this was good. We whipped out the stamp today. I wish I had that one. Last chance for me to use. Yeah, probably. I just think it's too important to extend it. I really do. I always thought that about elections. It's you know, if you see my hand, <laughs> uh, I have to slow down. So you think he's going to rebuild that building? So I heard. That's the rumor, anyway. I haven't talked to him. Would that building qualify for the the downtown ordinance? No, because it's you have to designate two separate blocks, and that's not part of the. For the he can have apartments downtown. He could he could file for um, you know, catalyst grant. I think he's asking for one. Um, yeah, no, I don't think. It would it's zoned uh business it might be B2, so I don't think you could put up apartments down down on the bottom floor. It'd have to be a business pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just wonder with the old capital being that way if somebody wanted to fight it. Well, as soon as that if that ever sells, then it has to revert back to yeah. You know, that was by far the the worst downfall of downtown was allowing absolute apartments on the first floor. And that building. Yeah, it's cool. It's got like the last block and yeah, mm -hmm. it covered it all up. And someone said the old theater sold. Yeah, when that bought it. It's it's set empty for 25 years. I oh yeah. They, I saw yeah. a rendering of the front. They're going to turn it into a old theater crafts. Good now. Nice. She's going to have a craft store. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I think they moved out uh, in 97. It could have been 98 because uh, they was in Indiana. Her mom was in Indiana. And uh, when I was down in Indiana, they came over and visited and stayed for a while we're down there. But uh, I don't think that business has been open since 97. Wow. When she had the sandwiches in there. Because mm -hmm. she worked at our video store across the street. Mm -hmm. And then the girls all worked over there, too. Right. Oh, shoot, the girls are funny to be pretty. Oh, I see them on Facebook. I haven't seen them for years. But, you know. Yeah, Crystal's a year younger than me, so she'd be 54. Jeez, she really that old? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting on. Yeah. I was thinking she was in her 40s now. Oh my gosh. Good kids. Yeah. Yeah, they all three of them worked there in the store. And we had to sub stop and mm -hmm. well, that was called uh, what was it? Crystal and I dated in high school a couple of times. Huh. Many, many moons ago. So what year would did you graduate? 88. 88, okay. It seems like Ed and Nancy's office pretty good. 
Yeah, they, yeah, they, I mean, they gotta be upper 70s. Um, I don't know what, I don't, no? yeah, I, I, yeah, I would say that. I don't want to say the other word, but yeah, you're right. They're close. Yeah, I think, I think you're doing okay, though. Nancy's uh, mom and dad uh, lived in a town uh, just over where I was down there for 10 years down in Indiana. And uh, so they used to come over and we used to go over and visit when the kids and Ed and Nancy came down. And I'm glad they finally let loose the building. I am too. I didn't think they would ever, I figured the girls would have to deal with it. Well, and after they passed, and well, we'll I mean, look at the taxes they paid on it. I don't know, just to, there was no uh, pressure on them, too. I think I read a little bit in the paper about that. Uh, I'm just glad they mm -hmm. did that. It's a, it's a great building, yeah. And I think Lynette's gonna put some effort into it, so it'll be good. Get it back, uh, people tracked into downtown, yeah. I remember when they used to have the uh. Oh, what is that called? Um, when they had, um, oh, they used to have the, the theater. The, 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 what the heck was the that? Kick 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 yes, yes. Yes. Like the show. yes, yes. And then when Davis and all them, the the, the keck players, uh, uh, what was his name? The travel. Remember, Jim? Um, they're related. They're a cousin. Uh, my brother-in-law used to oh. be part of it. But they used to travel. Uh, oh. Yes. Um, yeah. Snyder, Schneider. I can't remember. But that was a big thing in this area and drew a lot of people. And I remember when uh, they brought the, uh, they took the lanes out of uh, the old fabrication shop. I bought, I still got quite a few of the lanes and some of their pins uh, when they took that out and they brought it over. And Ed was going to set it up as a bowling alley. Mm -hmm. And so I bought a lot of that stuff. I hate to say it, but I still got it. <laughs> My kids are going to hate me. Upstairs in the Mason's building that we bought in their meeting room, it's lined with the red velvet theater seats out of that theater. I, what, what possessed them to get that? And haul them up. They're cast iron. Yeah, yeah. and haul them it, up in steps. How are you going to get them down? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't going to destroy them. I'm going to figure out something to do. Well, you can get a window out. Holler will get some pallets, and I'll bring yeah. my telehandler over there, and you can just throw them on a pallet. I can lift them out of the window. How about giving them to Raymond, take them out to the yeah. mm -hmm. circle society? Maybe they yeah. can put them in rows and use it for... I mean, they're kind of comfortable. I wouldn't want to sit in them for two hours, but... I remember there's a, there's more of them around because uh, somebody had them at a yard. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they're all there, yeah. but... But there's some more it's all the way around the room. There's got to be uh, over a hundred seats up there. Uh, I can bring my telehandler and stick it in the window. And they're still in the red, the red velvet. The whole note? Yeah, it looks. I don't want to say new, but yeah, as they don't need to be recovered. They look great. Once you kept them out of the sun, they, yeah. I got some pictures back when that theater was going. Boy, had an ordeal. And then if you look at what it was with all the buildings burnt over the years. Yeah. Or pictures of it from in the 30s or 40s or 50s. Yeah, you know, the majority of it was all those old wood frame structures and they were right next to each other. And when one goes, you can't yeah. stop it. No. Yeah. Petrified wood. Yeah. That, uh, Chris, you was the theater open when you was a kid? No, I can remember a theater in Morning Sun, but I can't. Speak. Yeah, because I don't. Now, Walden talked about that was every yeah. Saturday night when they did milk and cream to town. And we got a nickel to go to the theater and don't buy no bowl of them. I remember on Saturdays, you, you'd have to drive around town three or four times. I came to Waffle, I think, mean, from Lutz in 74, 75. Got here. Yeah. I remember when I was a freshman sophomore, he was playing football as a senior. <laughs> okay, is there any other business need to be brought forth? No. I'll make you go through them, make sure everything's signed.
Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Susan, I do need, I believe, a couple of things. A precinct tally list. 